So the newest patch has introduced a couple of nice little things here. If you haven't paid attention to your patches or your patch notes, the uh, the salvage matrix, everything you do with it will be done instantly. Like if you upgrade a weapon, it will be done instantly. No longer will you have to wait 20 minutes. So that's kind of nice. Um, it does kind of make a waste. You have all these slots for doing things. But I guess, you know, once they've decided things go need to go a different direction, they change them. So... You won't need those. Everything will be done instantly. I'm not going to really complain about that because to me that's really good. Who wants to wait? Um, for people who are trying to level up their weapons, finally something good for them. The Arc Forge cost to increase the rating of your item is now half. So when you want to go up that 100 Ego with that weapon, it only costs you 25 Arc Forge now instead of 50 that is that is a wonderful thing for lower ego people trying to play this game because it's almost impossible to keep a weapon you like with you. And I, I'm sorry, when I said that about the Arc Forge, that is for a legendary weapon. So if it's less than legendary, it's going to cost you even less to keep that with you. So that's that's a really, really nice. Now, it says uh, server stability improvements. Um, Playing today, that one didn't work well. <laughs> There's still some pretty bad lag going on, so that, that's not working so well. And uh, the event screen will no longer pop up while you're in combat. So uh, you'll, you'll be out of danger before your uh, little screen will pop up. And that's kind of nice. It was a little frustrating that you couldn't look at it and pay attention to things sometimes because you're being hammered. So uh, that's kind of nice. And... Um, I see a visual display for a score has been uh, fixed, and uh, you can't duplicate perks anymore. I guess that's what people were using to cheat somehow. Uh, I'd never even heard of that before, so... Um, now in Paradise, we can only have one incursion at a time. That's to keep people from splitting up, they're saying. You, they said you can only have one in San Francisco. Really and truly, there is only one in San Francisco, isn't there? Because technically there should be two. But I don't see the bottom one. There's one that ends in the southern part of San Francisco, and I don't even remember the last time I saw that one. So, unless that's just a siege location, and I'm thinking wrong, but it's what I see. But anyways, a couple of other little um, fixes here and there. Um, the invaders in Silicon Valley now remain closer to their objectives. I finished a hellfire, and that is not true. <laughs> they are just, they were hanging out outside of it. We killed all the enemies. I went to every location. All the enemies were dead. And then, like, 15, 20 minutes later, it finally ended. It popped up and gave a screen. So, something's still not working right there. I don't know about the invaders at Foster Temple, but I guess they were standing there doing nothing, so they fixed it to where they weren't, or maybe they did. <laughs> um, if you get any weapon that is not a legendary, it will supposedly no longer be encrypted, which will be nice. That means, because it means, it never made sense. I've got a lot of purples that were encrypted, and that meant I just couldn't use Arc Forge, which is what they should want us to do to raise that up to a legendary um, if it was purple, of course, because you still, you have seen nothing different. You get to raise it up one time, and then it becomes encrypted. So, this just says that that uh, non-legendary items will no longer drop encrypted. So, um, Tier 4 lockboxes will now guarantee at least one purple, which is true. I bought some Tier 4s today, and and every, I did get a purple in them. So, that that is working. So, it's... There's other ones too, but I ignore those because those are paid for ones. But the one thing that you don't have to pay for in the tier 4 lockbox in the game, that will drop you a purple now. So that is good. And they have removed a ton of guns from lockboxes. Um, I actually put my two cents in about some of these. Some of these I thought should be removed as well or retooled. I put in what I thought each needed. <laughs> uh, some of these are being removed that I didn't think necessarily had to be. But, I mean, if they want to they wanna mess with some of them, they can. Um, really and surely, some of these would have been really good guns, but they did little things in the past that um, uh, messed them up. Like, I think the Outbreaker is a fantastic infector. Used to be. When you could have buy that 1.1, that the fire rate increase mod for it, that would make it a fully automatic and made it really good but as a semi kind of like it is where it shoots in bursts it's it's not as effective as it should be the fire rate's just too slow for that so uh and then some of these just were just pretty much junk some of these just needed a few little things so 
I mean, I thought the match like Boomer wasn't that bad. I was kind of surprised to see it on the list. I mean, it could have used just maybe a small, not damage increase, but just the uh, the effect area could have been a little bit bigger. So these will be removed. So they'll be coming back once they fix them and made them worth using. Because some of these, I mean, they're just solid junk. Which you know, the immunizer, as if you've been here for a while, used to be the best infector in the game until they nerfed it. They over nerfed it and made it pretty much junk so the stats on it lie it says it has these stats on it you look at the stats and you're like well that's not bad that should be good it's really it's not good so you can't really go by the stats on that so uh the gulani are less acceptable to explosive splash damage i am going to assume that means that people found a way to hammer them pretty hard with explosives and kill them very quickly and they made sure you couldn't do that anymore the Matron, Progenitor, Hellion have had their health increased during Arc Falls. They have. <laughs> they have. I have done a, several Hellions, and they have quite a bit more health. So, uh, the following Arc Fall bosses have had their score, va their kill score values increased. Um, I hate to even bring that up because it is. You could technically say that. Um, they did increase it. I mean, uh, but it went from around 5,000 for the kill shot to like 6,500 or something for the kill shot. Uh, seeing as to how we used to get, well, let's see, for, you know, the Matron, the Hellion, um, and the Mature Hellion, those definitely used to pay, what, around 25, 30,000 or more for the kill shot? And the progenitor was anywhere. I think it was twenty to forty on that progenitor, just depending. And we all know that the uh, monolith itself, the monolith was, you know, two hundred to three hundred thousand for that kill shot. It was a very important thing. And um, now it's like nothing. It's down with these other guys. So you didn't increase it the way we're used to seeing it. So. I guess technically by saying they increased the kill score, we would think we'd get more. Because I was thinking, you know, why, where are my rewards when I was doing this? And then I, I read through them again, and I was like, hmm, should have read that a little bit better. So, And that's when I noticed, okay, yeah, these kill shots are paying a little bit more. But, I mean, when you compare it to what you're getting, yes, yeah, so you could say, you know, it's paying 25% more. But they had lowered it so much that it's pretty much irrelevant. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop into the game and kind of show you some of the... Um, some of the things that I'm talking about here. Alright, now the mother of all hell bugs. I went ahead and did one. It does feel like the health was raised up pretty darn good with this one. Uh, it also drops beneath the ground a lot to really stretch that fight out. So, that's kind of seems what they did. Just as much as increasing the health, it drops down like the pods that come up. They used to come up, you know, once maybe during the mother of all hell bugs. There's only two of us here, low threat level. You'd think we'd wipe it out easy, and no, doesn't happen. Uh, we saw those things come up like three or four times during the fight. It was it was ridiculous, and it's still no rewards. That was just stretched out further, no rewards. I got an 8,000 nano effect kill, so that was, I mean, it was for nothing. Five keys. That's, I mean, not that great. Now, the mature Hellion... It felt the same. It didn't feel really all that much stronger. Now you see there are power kills, 6,700. So it was about 17 or 1,800 more than than what I was getting. Um, not that impressive. Like you get, like I said, it's not an extra key, so it uh, doesn't really do much to increase the score that tiny amount. I, I'm, I'm confused. I thought we'd see bigger than this, and we we really we didn't. I mean, so I mean, I don't know what else to say about that now. Now, the Doodlebug stays alive long enough for you to make a pretty good score. Um, I did just a tiny part of one of the other crystals, and the rest of my score mainly came from him. So, the, the longevity of its life did give me a higher score while I was here, but it was an 8,000 vengeance kill. So, it's still pretty small on the killing the boss thing. So, uh, let's move away from this, and let's talk about Arc Forge. Alright, now, what they have done here... We'll select items to modify, and we'll show you the increase the uh, that they did do. Here's the perforator. We'll do this is 5,500. Now, if we try to upgrade the rating, you see it now costs 25 arc forge for me to raise this legendary instead of 50. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And there we go. So now that will be um, 100 ego higher. It should be at 5,600 now. And there it is, 5,600. Probably didn't change much since 5,500 is really where you want to hit for power. So 
it probably just did a few points of damage on that. Alright, um, the instantaneous stuff, let's see. I had a weapon I had thought about upgrading, so we'll go ahead and do it for this video. So it should be instantaneous. A frontier saw. So we will upgrade the rarity. I wish they'd have cut that in half. <laughs> How nice would that have been? And uh, we'll go ahead and start action. Yes. And there, done. Just like that. So I can hop over and cross our fingers here that we got something good. I'm sure I didn't have horrible luck. There it is. Frontier Saw. It is now legendary. Just that fast. And we got damage. Yay. Look at there. We got a very, very nice roll. That's exactly what I wanted to see for this. So, And I like the hard boiled. I need to find me another one of these. Because it gives you a... Uh, it refreshes your self-revive on a kill. And that, that is a wonderful synergy. It's a shame it wasn't more than what it was. That it was basically a vendor-only synergy. But, um... There you go. So you can see that is um, yeah, negative 25 and negative 500. Hard one arc forge. <laughs> but there you, go. you see it's instantaneous when you do something now. And good for the lower ego people. It is cheaper to raise your weapons up than it used to be. And uh, that's about all I have. And I will catch you guys later.